Hi Pisces, this is your How Do They Feel About You reading. Please remember that this is general, okay? So you take what's resonating for you and you leave the rest. As always, my reads are timeless and they're not gender specific. It's literally just energies that we're reading. Please never take anything personally that comes out of a tarot read because it might not even be your story at all, especially if you're cross-watching. Okay, so if you are cross-watching, then the chances are that you'll be resonating uh, more as if you were the Pisces, if that makes sense. Uh, so it could resonate flipped, basically. Right, so Pisces, how does your love interest currently see you? It's Pisces. Five of Wands, it's Leo energy. Ooh, uh, that's not good. Five of Wands is about the push and pull. It's argumentative. It's not great. Um, I'm sorry to say. Conflict and competition. Okay. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. Um, okay. This could be as clean cut as a Cancerian sees you as argumentative. Or it could just be uh, something more sort of underlying than that. And I am feeling that, to be honest with you, it is more underlying. This is, uh, they are seeing you as basically in conflict about your emotions towards them. Ace of Cups, there's your emotions, water energy, and the Ten of Coins, Virgo energy, right? Yeah, um, so it, it's looking like I have read that correctly. Your person seeing you as being conflicted about your emotions when it comes to them. You are currently in conflict about whether or not you should settle down with them. Uh, they see basically that you are questioning as to whether or not they're a good choice. Now, you might not be doing that, but that's literally the energies that they are picking up off from you. Um, they see that at the moment you're unsure as to whether or not uh, you can pursue this particular connection any further. It's like you, you're kind of, you're trying to future proof here in your life and you're trying to figure out if they are the ones that you're going to be married to, if they're the ones that you're going to start a family with for some of you as well with the Ten of Coins. Um, it's like you're trying to imagine yourself getting old with this individual and you know what what that would look like. So they see here that you're, you're thinking very very long term which means that your energies at the moment is coming across as quite serious and um, you know just you, you want to be certain about them basically. How do they feel about Pisces please? Thank you. Ah, loads. Okay. Uh, seven of Wands, that's Leo energy. Six of Swords is Aquarius. King of Wands, more Leo. And the Page of Coins, Earth. The Page of Coins can also indicate the start of winter as well. So, this is in their feelings and they are currently building up their, their confidence and their courage to take action towards you is indicating that you are going to be hearing or receiving something tangible from your love interest this winter. Right, so keep a look out for that one because that is when they're going to feel that <clears throat> um, that's their optimum time basically to make a move towards you. With the Seven of Wands and Six of Swords, um, again, the Seven of Wands, it's like the Five of Wands. It, it's quite sort of conflicting energies. Uh, it's not great. It can indicate blocked communication as well. So they feel that basically you have blocked them out or you're trying to forget about them and that you're trying to move away from them. Um, so there's... There's like a breakup <clears throat> here, basically, in these energies, and they feel that you quite possibly don't want to hear from them. That may or may not be true. Only you'll know where, 
where you're resonating with that one. Um, but they definitely feel <clears throat> that they are the last person on the planet that you would ever want to hear from. So, I don't know. King of Swords has come out off balance. That's Aquarius energy. So, in their actions towards you, because that's come out off balance, they have tried to emotionally detach from you and they have failed. They have tried to be logical about the situation and they have failed. Um, it's almost like their, their feelings are dominating the entire situation. Um, it's like logically they know that it doesn't make any sense, but they're still very much stuck on you. Um, yep. Okay. What actions will I take, please? Toward Pisces. Toward Pisces. A hermit, it's Virgo energy. Three of coins is Capricorn, and the Queen of Coins is also Capricorn. Okay. Um, they're going to try and build with you here, Pisces. They are going to try and um, use their intellect here to try and convince you that, that you can build with them and that you can invest in the connection with them. Um, they, they, they are just about coming out of hermit mode. Um, so they've been processing basically everything that's happened between you. They've been processing their feelings and emotions. Um, they've been trying to figure out why they, they can't emotionally distance themselves away from you. They're stuck on you, basically. Uh, similar energies to the read that we've just had for Aquarius. Um, this is someone who is basically trying to prove to you that... Uh, that they're grounded, that they're stable, that they're secure, um, that they're a team player as well with the three of coins. Okay. Can you please clarify this five of wands? Why is the five of wands here for Pisces? The five of wands here for Pisces, please. There's five of wands here, please. Thank you. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. Um, that's usually a romantic invitation, a romantic offering, someone who is being open and honest about their feelings and emotions towards you. So there is a certain amount of dishonesty here. Please clarify. Five of wands. Five of Cups, Scorpio, Eight of Coins, Virgo, Queen of Coins, again, Queen of Coins, again, Capricorn. Um, you felt this individual was quite possibly leading you down the garden path that didn't actually lead anywhere. Um, so this is indicating that basically you walked away from a connection before it really could get anywhere. Uh, because you felt that they were not fully invested in, in the situation. You felt that this was a bit of a waste of time as well. Um, they are currently missing you. Um, again, they're, they're going to make a big show about uh, how you can depend on them. They're going to make a big show about being a team player. Um, it's working hard and perfecting your craft as well. So, yeah, it's like you withdrew from this particular connection <clears throat> and you focused on your finances, your career, uh, your stability, basically. That's where you started putting your energies. And now um, th there's been enough of a gap in between for this individual to process their feelings and emotions outside of this connection. And it's indicating that they are going to be trying to do a U-turn, basically, back towards you. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go down with you, to be perfectly honest, Pisces. Because it feels a bit too much like games being played here. 
and it's like usually uh, you can handle that quite well but when it comes down to playing games with your heart that's another ball game entirely and, and that that's where your line is drawn and um, this one it feels it feels a bit sort of playing a game of football with your heart um, yeah I, I, I don't know that certainly would explain why they would be completely expecting you to be really, really defensive when they do try and reach out towards you again. It's it's like they're, they're literally saying to themselves here, I'm the last person on the planet that Pisces wants to hear from. You know, that's why. Because they have been playing these sort of emotional games. It's like they've been giving you a little bit and then they withdraw and then they give you another little bit and they withdraw. It's not nice. They felt that they could just give you the bare minimum as well and that you'd be okay with that. Now we've had that out already for a couple of other signs as well. I can't remember which ones. Um, no, I honestly can't remember. I think it was Virgo was one of them. Um, but yeah, the bare minimum just, it, it doesn't go down well with you. Because it's almost like they were always looking for a way out as well. Which, again, you, you don't take kindly to that kind of behaviour. And, you know, that that's only reasonable. You can tell us anything else, please, about this person's energy toward Pisces. The moon. Your major arcana, justice, it's Libra, the tower, that's Mars energy, six of cups, it's scorpion, and the nine of wands is Sagittarian. Um, yeah, I'm seeing here, Pisces, this individual was keeping back too many secrets from you. And again, you didn't take too kindly to that. So it's it's kind of like you changed things up here with this particular connection when when you stopped investing in it. And it's basically um, even though that hurt you to do, because you do feel a very strong soul connection to this individual, um, it hurt you to walk away. But you, you had to do it anyway, just um, self-preservation um, so that you wouldn't waste any more time. And now I can see that when it comes to this individual, you do actually have your barriers up. The nine of wands and um, you are defending your heart against this individual purely because they have this really annoying ability to get under your skin to get in your head um, and to basically affect the rest of your day um, you don't like that kind of power and control that they that they have over you um, so it's like you're trying to keep yourself distanced from this person so that you don't get suckered in again, basically. And their blockages, Five of Cups, Scorpion Energy, Wheel of Fortunes, Jupiter and the Four of Swords, Libra. So, yeah, their blockages and Four of Cups as well as Cancer. Right, so their blockages is basically uh, with that combination there, they didn't value what they had while they had it, so they lost it. Um, you turned the tables on this individual. You turned the connection on its head because you felt that you had no other choice to, basically. Um, <clears throat> they are currently sitting in regret, remorse, feeling sorry for themselves, um, feeling quite hurt about the way that this has played out. But you had to do what was best for you at the time. Um, even though it still does hurt a little bit, you still don't really have regrets about cutting off this individual. Uh, not really. Not when you're being realistic. Um, the, again, as I say, the, there's a line here. This individual definitely did cross the line with you and you, you had to stay true to your word um, regardless. So... They are definitely just waiting for the right time, though, to reach out towards you. And your cards are indicating it's going to be the start of this winter. So you'll have to make of that what you will, but it is there. Have you got anything else, please, for Pisces? Bugger. 
something else goes for Pisces. Finances and career, financial factors are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah, that's basically, it's a repeating message. Um, it's you being focused on your stability. You're being focused on your career. You're being focused on forward movement on the areas in your life where you feel that you've got a bit more control. Because um, obviously, you don't have control over another individual. So it's like you, you're taking control where you can. It's for Pisces, please. Free yourself. Uh -huh. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying not to get suckered back into this particular situation. It's for Pisces, please. Uh, be careful that this individual isn't just coming back in just to see what they can take from you as well. Because when they do come back around, they're still actually offering just the bare minimum. Boom. <sighs> wow. Okay, uh, water flights, heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away and weightlessness, freedom to feel, freedom to drop all of your burdens. So Pisces, yeah, um, I, I'm struggling to put this in nice terms. Um, basically, this individual disconnection, it's felt like a heavy burden on you and it's kind of like since you started changing up your focus, uh, you felt a lot more free. Some of you might have felt it physically as well, like an actual weight being lifted off you. Um, hold on to that feeling, okay, because they are coming back in. The unseen, too much is hidden from you. Look out for hidden clauses and contracts. Think carefully before accepting anything. There are underlying reasons why this individual is coming back in towards you. Uh, cross watchers, again, you could be resonating more with a Pisces who's doing this to you. All right, so just bear that one in mind, cross watchers. Um, they're coming back in to see what they can take from you here, Pisces. Or cross watcher, this could be Pisces doing this to you. For Pisces, please. New beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Pisces, don't put any more efforts into that particular connection. Like for real. Embrace a brand new connection with a brand new individual. Embrace a brand new beginning. Thank you. Only time will tell. And at the bottom of that deck, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Someone here and transformation under there as well. Uh, someone here might feel very, very tempted to give this particular individual yet another chance. Pisces, how many chances are you going to give this individual? How many chances do they need? For real, how many? There, there is a repeating cycle here between you and this individual, and it's not healthy for you. All of your cards are saying, look, focus on your finances and career the way that you have been. Hold on to that feeling that you have when they're not around that you feel weightlessness. Hold on to that feeling. Remember how free you feel when they're not around. 
embrace a brand new beginning, right? That there is something bigger and better that is currently in the works for you here, Pisces, right? Be patient. And for those who feel like really that they cannot say no to this individual, that there is a root cause for that investigate the root cause as to why you feel that this particular connection is the best that you're going to get when they are repeatedly offering you the bare minimum. Further clarity please for Pisces. Okay. Island time. In your own time, take your time. Active. Have a relaxed attitude and be more lighthearted and meditate. So, yeah, don't feel pressured into giving anybody a snappy answer. Absolutely. When, when this individual does come back around towards you, Pisces, please don't feel pressured into anything take your time and we've got no you hang up lengthy exciting conversations uh, having a lot to talk about being into each other meaningful giddy and having a lot in common and under there missing you so sad lonely or alone physical separation let go move on thinking of each other or you pisces um there's emotional blackmail here in your reading from them towards you What does Pisces need to focus on, please, at this time? For some of you, there is a brand new individual in your energies that is wanting to speak to you. But you haven't seen it yet because you've been so distracted by, um, by the older individual that's in your energies. Okay, so life surfing, feeling capable of overcoming adversity, no expectations, approaching life like a sport. So your focus is to basically try and go with the flow, but don't get dragged down by the tide. What else does Pisces need to focus on, please, at this time? What's Pisces need to focus on, please? Nope. Oh. Splitsville. Leaving quickly, decisively, the relationship is devolving or ending. Not keeping in touch and time alone. So, yeah, your focus is to basically stick to the decision that you've made already about this particular individual. Because um, currently you're on the right path. However, they're indicating here that by going back to that individual, you'd be you'd be going on the wrong path. Subconscious mind, recondition your subconscious mind to change your life. Subliminals, rewrite your belief system. That's for those of you who feel that basically um, this type of connection is the best that you're going to get because I am feeling that there is a tiny handful here of Pisces that have got quite sort of low self-esteem. It's basically old programming that... Um, that needs to be rewritten, uh, that there is a Pisces here who doesn't yet realise their worth and their value. Pisces, please. Pisces. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Remembering that you do not need anyone outside of you to uh, validate your happiness, right? I know how cheesy it sounds. And it's a cliche for a reason. Happiness genuinely does come from within. You don't need any outside validation for your happiness. Health, I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So, yeah, that's twice we've had that message out now about you taking better care of yourself, uh, nurturing yourself, making sure that you're getting your own needs met. 
peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy and releasing those who bring negative energies towards you as well. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yep. Um, that's that second energies that I could feel that uh, is wanting to speak to you, Pisces, about their emotions towards you. Uh, someone here has got a friend who wishes to take that friendship to the next level and you haven't yet noticed it because you, you've been consumed by what's been going on down here. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. You have no issue usually with uh, accepting responsibility. Um, however, you have been dealing with an individual down here whose favourite tactic is to gaslight and to blame you for everything that goes wrong. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yep. It's time for you to tie off the loose ends when it pertains to the old connection here, Pisces. Um, because that's, it is still hanging over your head and it's time for you to not allow that individual to hold anything over your head anymore. That's ending and literally straight away you've got a brand new beginning. So there, there's plenty for you to look forward to here, Pisces. Um, this is more sort of cleaning up the old dross so that you can start to enjoy your brand new life. Like that, that's what I'm seeing here in your read. Really interesting. Okay, so um, that is what I have for you, Pisces. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then that information can be found in my descriptions box and in my pinned comments below. Have a lovely, lovely week and thank you for watching. Bye.